Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again and this is tutorial 8. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about Passport.js. Uh, what is Passport.js? Well, it's a middleware for Node.js uh, that uses strategies to communicate authenticity of the client to the server. So basically, uh, a username and password regular, that would be a local uh, strategy. Then they have a Facebook strategy for communicating with Facebook to log you in. Um, and you know Google and Twitter and all kinds like over a hundred and forty different strategies actually in order to authenticate the user so you can log into whatever uh, web page or whatever you're developing uh, so that's the first part and then we're also going to talk a little bit about uh, connect flash and connect flash basically allows you to send messages uh, like we've done in a previous uh, tutorial uh, back to uh, the client from the server so for invalid uh, login reasons, username or passwords are bad or something, it, it sends those messages back to the client. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So as per usual, our first step is going to be to update our package.json file with the uh, modules that we need. So we're going to do npm install uh, passport and save that. That'll bring in our uh, passport. We also need uh, actually npm install uh, passport local. That'll be our local strategy. And then we're going to need uh, connect flash. Uh, npm install uh, connect flash. And go ahead and save that. Now let's go ahead and go to our package file and make sure that those are all installed. So passport local and connect flash. So the next step is to go to our server.js file and start importing things. Uh, so let's do a var passport equals require passport. And then a var flash equals require connect flash. Now we actually need to use those as middleware. So let's do app dot uh, use passport dot initialize initialize that starts the passport up then we need to say app dot use passport dot session that piggybacks off the session that we're using up here so you've got to make sure that passport.session is used after this session there's only one session it's not like you're creating anything new um, but passport uses the previous uh, express session uh, to piggyback off of um, so and next we'll use app.use and then our flash to make sure that all of our flash messages are uh, being updated um, so also one other thing is we're going to go ahead and pass our passport to our routes. So when uh, our user navigates to a certain URL, um, uh, our routes know that passport exists. Okay, so next let's go ahead and config our passport. So we're going to go up to config and create a new file, control S to save as passport.js. Um, and we're going to bring in some variables here. Uh, we're going to create a local strategy and require passport local and then that has a strategy option uh, then we're going to bring in our user schema that we created for our database so we can add users to it um, require app wow app models user and that should be right app models user okay okay so our next step is to set up our module.exports this allows this section to be available to the rest of our program and it'll take in a passport and this is where we're config uh, the rest of our program these next two sections I'm going to add are for serializing and deserializing our user. Now let me explain that before I write the code. Um, to serialize a user means to take a large basic object and get it down to something that uniquely identifies it in its smallest form. 
Uh, so if we have a user with, you know, username and password and, you know, a birthday and all that kind of stuff, and we're trying to save it in session storage, which means when session storage is, is that when you go to a website and it automatically knows that you're already logged in. Well, it's just looking at uh, a user ID to tell if it's you, basically. It's not looking at a username and all that, you know, extra stuff that comes with it. So when we're going to serialize a user, we're going to save uh, that session data as just the username. To deserialize a user, we're looking at a username and we're going to bring back the entire user, which is, you know, username, the password, uh, you know, birthday, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's what deserialize and serialize means. So let's go ahead and write the functions here. Uh, passport.serialize user function user and then done which is a callback and then uh, we'll use the callback to return no error and the user.id and then to deserialize passport.deserialize user takes in a function that has the id and a callback and then we're going to say user, which is a, uh, this is going to be using mongoose here, uh, user.find by ID, the mongoose function. Give it the ID where they were looking for. So it's going to search our Mongo database uh, for this ID. And if it finds one, or rather if not two, it's going to return our, uh, an error if it doesn't find one. And our user. So uh, we'll pass that to our callback, the error, and the user. So let's go ahead and clean this up. So before we go any further, I just want to take a quick look at the passport guide and go to configure. And scroll down here, and I'm going to show you that's where I get some of the information uh, for configuration. Um, basically the exact same uh, code. Um, the next part we're going to do is configure our local strategy, and I'm going to use this as kind of a template, uh, but not quite exactly the way they do it. Uh, so we're going to do uh, passport.use, um, and I can actually name the strategy before I give it the local strategy. So I'm going to just say local sign up, and then we'll do new uh, local strategy. Actually, it's capitalized local local strategy. And the first parameter I'm going to give it instead, unlike uh, the template over here, is we're going to rename the fields uh, that uh, they have. So username, the username field is actually going to be an email. And that is going to look at um, our EGS file. Now, let's see, our views, it's in our views, and the sign up. So we named it email and password. If it was, uh, the default is username and password, but since we renamed them slightly different, uh, we need to rename them up here. And this is good practice. So let's go back to our passport. Um, and then the uh, password fields is password. This is field as well. And then final is to uh, pass request to callback. And we'll set that to true, which lets us in this next section, um, in this next section, uh, have a extra parameter that's our request. Okay, so function and request. Then we can take in our email, our password, and a callback, or we'll just call it done. Okay, so uh, we're going to use a Node.js function to make this asynchronous, so uh, that unless uh, data is sent back, um, uh, our lookup in the database won't fire. So we're going to call that, uh, it's called process dot next tick 
And there, if that wasn't uh, very clear, you'll have to look in the Node uh, JS uh, documentation for process.nextTick, and it'll explain it a little more clearly. Um, but basically, um, this section doesn't uh, execute until everything else is done. So uh, you know, communication-wise. So now we can actually get to uh, finding our user in the database, and if there's not a user in the database, uh, then we can sign them up, basically. So let's do user dot find one, where our local dot email is equal to email so of course we have email here so we're gonna look in our database for a local email that matches the email that we've got for the username and then function error user so this is what executes next after it finds it um, if there's an error return our to our callback um, error otherwise if there's a user we're going to return done no error but the uh, it's false we're going to return false to our passport uh, because it can't sign up it's invalid um, and um, then we're going to say request.flash the message we're going to send is a sign up message and that message should equal that email already taken okay so let's see if we can follow that go back down through that really quick okay uh, so we're going to search our database for a local email that matches the email that we got. Once that is done, it's going to call a callback, and this is the function. It has an error and a user. If there is an error, then we're going to go ahead and return that error back to whoever called it. You know, basically our app, it'll print out on the screen. Otherwise, if we found a user with that email already uh, in the database, then we don't want to re-register the user. So. Uh, we want to let them know with a flask message that will pop up on the screen and that that email is already taken. Finally, otherwise, we're going to create a new user. We're going to set that uh, new user dot local dot email to equal email and uh, new user dot local dot password equal to password this is not secure yet so anybody who's watching uh, you'll know that basically I'm just saving the username and password and free text that's not good you're gonna wanna hash your pass passwords when you save them to the database we'll talk about that a little bit uh, later and we'll come back and edit this exact text later uh, but for now let's go ahead and go so now new user uh, dot save and then the function that takes in whether or not it comes back as an error and then if error throw the error so that'll pop up on our screen now otherwise um, return done null no error and our new user so that is actually that makes it super simple I guess kinda that's our first strategy that's our sign up strategy so uh, after that uh, we got a little bit more okay so made a little mistake it's uh, strategy with an R not strategy I'm misspelling uh, but the next step is we're going to go to server.js and we're going to set up our config for passport so our app uses it. So we're going to do require, uh, let's see, dot config slash passport and we'll send them our passport object. Save that. Now the next thing we got to do is set up our routes. 
Um, and our routes are going to be a little bit, we're going to adjust some of these that we've already done. Instead of a message here, we're going to do uh, our victory here. We'll say anytime it renders, if uh, we have a request dot flash message, and that's the uh, sign up message, we'll use that instead of just sending victory out every single time. Um, so that's the only difference with uh, the sign up. And then we'll do the post sign up here. Now it's going to be slightly different. We are going to, instead of including this function here, we're going to do uh, passport.authenticate and use our local sign up strategy. And then the next part is this. So it's success redirect. Where do we want it to go if there's a successful uh, attempt at authentication? They signed up successfully. We'll just take them back to the home page. Um, there is a failure uh, redirect. What happens if for some reason they didn't get uh, successfully redirected? Like they had, they tried to register an email that's already registered. We'll just tell them to go back to sign up. And then um, failure flash, and we'll set that to true. And what that means is basically if there was a uh, failure, like uh, it did, there was no, um, or they tried to sign up an email that was already in use, uh, are we expecting a request flash message back? So we're going to set that to true. So it'll go ahead and put that uh, request.flash here. So when this page loads, it'll have that message. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, save everything really quick, just to double check. And then let's go ahead and open our terminal, uh, node server.js. We should be using NodeMon, but I'm not right now. Local host, local sign up. We'll do a brunt uh, at gmail.com and then abc123 sign up. And we can't post. Let's see why. And of course, it's the simple things in life. I had misspelled success uh, redirect. Uh, so with that taken care of, uh, there is also one other thing in Passport.js. Um, I put email, but if we look back at our schema, uh, we'll see that it's local.username. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, chain, make that change here. Save that. Save our uh, routes. And let's go ahead and reopen our ter terminal node server.js we got it running localhost we'll refresh and make sure everything's good log in um, let's do um, test at gmail.com one two three so okay we got a log on uh, and so now let's try to sign up with the th same thing test at gmail.com one two three and we still get the same deal. And another simple fix is that I didn't uh, change all of our email to uh, username. So that'll be username. Go ahead and save that to restart our server here. Control C. Okay, now let's go to our local sign up and do our test at gmail.com, password123. And we'll see that Flash sent us a message saying that email is already taken. So that's how the Flash message works. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll do a log in uh, page uh, to test for authen uh, authentication. And uh, that one will be very similar. It'll be shorter than this one because we won't have to set up a whole lot more stuff. Uh, so tune in next time. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, hit me up in the comments below. And also, if uh, you think I'm not doing it correctly, uh, please post below. I'm always game for constructive criticism, and I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much.